Sagutan natin tong problems. Evaluate the following integral. So, let's start with 1. Integral of square root of x minus 1 raised to the 5 over square root of x dx. Okay, so, pwede tayong gumamit dito ng u substitution. So, try natin i-let u yung expression na naka sa exponent na 5. etong square root of x minus 1. So, try natin i-let u e equal to square root of x minus 1. And then, check natin kapag dinifferentiate itong square root of x minus 1, mapaproduce natin yung natirang term na dx over square root of x. Okay? So, derivative natin yung u, du. Derivative ng square root of x minus 1. So, di ba itong square root of x, pwede ang gawing x raised to 1 half fractional exponent. So, apply natin yung power rule. So, derivative ng x to the 1 half, baba yung 1 half, then x raised to 1 half minus 1, negative 1 half. Okay? Minus derivative ng 1, 0, times dx. So, bale, du is, so, 1 half, so, gawin natin positive exponent sa bababa si x sa denominator. Okay? So, magiging 1 over 2, x raised to 1 half, tas wala na itong 0, dx agad. Or pwedeng du is 1 over 2, yung x raised to 1 na pwedeng square root of x. Okay? So, naproduce ba natin yung dx over square root of x? Yes, ito, di ba? Okay. Pero meron lang extra coefficient na 1 half which is wala sa original integral. Pero natin ma-eliminate by multiplying both sides by 2. So, bale magiging 2du equals so cancel si 2 dito dx over square root of x. Okay? So, substitute ngayon natin. So, bale magiging integral ng so itong square root of x minus 1 Siya na yung u, right? So, integral ng u, tapos raised to the 5. And then, ito nga, dx over square root of x in terms of du to du, okay? So, pwede natin i-rewrite to as integral ng 2u to the 5th du. So, pwede igilid yung 2 constant. So, magiging 2 times integral ng u to the 5th du. So, applying yung power rule, integral ng u to the n du is u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c, provided that n is not equal to negative 1. So, bale 2 times positive 2, integral ng u to the 5, u to the 5 plus 1 over 5 plus 1 plus c. So, u, uh, 2 times u to the 6 over 6 plus c. Then, simplify natin, 2 over 6, so magiging 1 third na lang, u to the 6 plus c. Tapos, ibalik natin yung u as square root of x minus 1 raised to the 6 plus c. So, this is the final answer. Okay, punta tayo sa problem number 2. So, integral naman ng x squared, square root ng x plus 5 dx. Okay, so, yung square root, try muna natin gawing fractional exponent. So, pwede siyang integral ng x squared times x plus 5 raised to 1 half, right? dx. Tapos, mag-usab ulit tayo. So, try natin i-let you again yung expression na nakari sa exponent, itong x plus 5. So, let u be equal to x plus 5. Then, get the derivative of both sides. Derivative ng u, du. Derivative ng x plus 5. So, yung x derivative is 1. Plus derivative ng 5, constant lang. So, 0. Dx. O. So, bali magiging du is 1 plus 0. 1 dx or dx na lang. So, ito na yung dx. Okay? Kaso, may x squared ka pa. Kailangan lahat ng variable matransform in terms of u. So, paano natin itatransform itong x squared in terms of u? So, balikan natin yung u sub na to. Di ba pwede natin isolve ito for x in terms of u? Transpose nyo lang si 5 sa kaliwa. So, bali magiging u minus 5 equals x. Okay? Ito na yung magiging in terms of x natin, u minus 5. Tapos, square nyo lang. 
So, substitute natin. So, yung x nga, pwedeng u minus 5, tas squared. Tapos, x plus 5, u na siya, right? Raised to 1 half. Tapos, itong dx, du. Okay, so, expand na lang natin tong u minus 5 squared, square of a binomial, magiging u squared minus 10u plus 25, right? Times u to the 1 half du. Tapos, pwede nyo i-distribute yung u to the 1 half. So, bale, integral ng u squared times u to the 1 half minus 10u times u to the 1 half plus 25u to the 1 half du. Simplify natin. U to the second power times u to the 1 half, bale, u to the 2 plus 1 half. Add the exponents, right? 2 plus 1 half, that's 5 halves. Minus 10, u times u to the 1 half. Itong u may invisible exponent na 1. So, bale, 10 u to the, add the exponent ulit. 1 plus 1 half, 3 halves. 10 plus 25 u to the 1 half. So, pwede nyong i-distribute yung integral together with the du, integrate term by term. So, integral ng u to the 5 halves du, minus, tas gilid natin tong constant na 10, bali negative 10, integral ng u to the 3 halves du, plus gilid din natin tong 25 na constant, integral ng u to the 1 half du. Tas puro power rule, right? So, sa una, u to the 5 halves, bali integral is u to the 5 halves plus 1 over 5 halves plus 1. Minus 10, integral ng u to the 3 halves. u to the 3 halves plus 1 over 3 halves plus 1. Plus 25, integral ng u to the 1 half. u to the 1 half plus 1 over u to the 1 half plus 1 plus u. Simplify u to the 5 halves plus 1. 7 halves over same 7 halves. Minus 10, u to the 3 halves plus 1. 5 halves over 5 halves then. Plus 25, u to the 1 half plus 1, 3 halves over 3 halves, plus C. Tapos get na yung mga reciprocal ng denominator, bali ito, 2 sevenths, u to the 7 halves, minus 10 times reciprocal ng 5 halves, 2 fifths, u to the 5 halves, plus 25 times reciprocal ng 3 halves, 2 thirds, u to the 3 halves, plus C. So, bali, 2 seventh u to the 7 halves minus, so, 10 times 2 fifths, negative 20 divided by 5, negative 4. u to the 5 halves plus, so, 25 times 2 thirds, so, 25 times 2 fifty over 3, u to the 3 halves plus c. Final step, ibabalik lang yung u as um, x plus 5, right? So, bali, 2 sevenths u, x plus 5 raised to 7 halves, minus 4, u, going x plus 5, raised to 5 halves, plus 50 over 30, u ule, going x plus 5, raised to 3 halves, plus c. So, this is the final answer. Okay, kayo naman. Try nyo evaluate itong integral ng x times cube root ng x plus 2 dx and just comment your answers.